Hello and welcome to BIM 360 Basics. In this video, I want to talk about what happens to your data when the trial is over. Well, if you've been working on projects that are hosted on a paid account, then nothing. The data will continue to be available as it has been. Now, if you created projects on a trial account, then you will lose access to that data when the trial ends, May 31st in the case of the Extended Access Program. So what are your options? This is absolutely not a requirement, but if you would choose to, you could convert the trial to a paid account prior to May 31st and maintain access to your data. If you don't intend to do that, you can download your files anytime prior to May 31st. You can download individual files, or if you want, you can download many files at once. Let's take a look at how you do that in BIM 360. The first thing I want to do is go to the document management screen in BIM 360. To do that, I click on the module selector up here in the top left and then document management. You'll see that my project is separated into two areas, plans and project files. Let's do project files first. I can go into project files and select any individual folder or file and download it. Or if I want to back up the entire project files structure, I can just select project files on the left, check the box here at the top left corner, which will select all of the folders in project files, and then click download source files up here on the toolbar. That will take everything in the project files directory and zip it up into one file. Then I can download that zip file and have it for myself on my hard drive, my server, or wherever I want to store it. Now the plan section is a little bit trickier. With plans, you can only download files, not folders. So you'll have to dig down into the individual folders. And when you're looking at nothing but files, you can then click the box at the top to select all of the files and then use the download option to download those files. So it may take multiple zip files for you to cover everything in your plans directory. And just so you know, if there would happen to be a subfolder in this list, I would have to uncheck it and only have the checkboxes next to actual files for the download button to even appear. So with that approach, in a relatively short time, you can download all of the files in your BIM 360 project. I do need to point out that this will just download the files, not any metadata or markups or issues that have been attached to any of the files that are in there. It'll strictly download the source files themselves. So hopefully that clears things up about what happens to your data at the end of the trial and what your options are. Thanks for visiting BIM 360 Basics. Keep checking back at BIM360Basics.com for more tips, tricks, and tutorials all having to do with BIM 360.